Hi everybody, welcome to a new Python tutorial. Today we're going to talk about sets in Python. A set is a collection data type that is unordered and mutable, but unlike lists or tuples, it does not allow duplicate elements. A set is created with braces, just like a dictionary, but we don't put key value pairs in it, but instead just single elements separated by a comma. For example, let's put some numbers in here and print this. Then we will see our set here. And if we put, for example, another one and another two here and print this again, then we see that only one of each element is kept because a set does not allow duplicates. We can also use the set function and use an iterable here. For example, let's use a list here. This will also create a set or we can use a string here for example hello and if we print this first of all we see that the order is arbitrary because a set is unordered and the order is not important and we also see that there's only one L in our set so this is a nice little trick to find out how many different characters are in your word now if you want to create an empty set and you do it like this just with the braces then you have to be careful because now if you have a look at the type of this then we see that this is recognized as a dictionary so if you want to have an empty set you have to do it with the set method um, a set is mutable so you can change it later on so now we can add elements and we do this with the dot add method so let's put in some numbers here. And print this. And we can also remove elements again with the remove method. So let's remove the three. And if we want to remove an element that is not inside our set, then this will raise a key error. So be careful here. So there's another method that's called the discard method that pre uh, does the same thing. So it also removes the element and if it does not find the element then nothing will happen. So no error here. Uh, we can also use the clear method of course. This will empty our set. Or we can use the pop method. So this will return an arbitrary value of our set and also removes it. So if we print this, then we see in this case it returned the one and also removed the one from our set. Now we can iterate over our set very easily with an for in loop. So for i in my set and then do something in this case just print this so this will iterate over each element and print it and we don't have to call this i we can also call this for example x or whatever we want now if we want to check if an element is inside our set we can do this with an if in statement so if one in my set and then we print yes so the one is in our set the two is in our our set and if we check for example for the four then nothing gets printed now let's talk about union and intersection and for this case first of all uh, let's create three different sets one with odd numbers one with even numbers and one with prime numbers and now we can calculate the union. So the union combines elements from both from two sets without duplication. So let's um, calculate the union of odds. And we do this with dot union and then as an argument the second set. So evens and print this then we see that now we have all the numbers from 0 to 9. So the union 
will combine elements from both from two sets without duplication. We can also calculate the intersection of two sets. So the intersection will only take elements that are found in both sets. So if we say the intersection equals odds dot intersection evens and if we print this then we will get an empty set because um, odds and evens don't have the same elements. Now if we calcu calculate the intersection of odds and primes we will get all the prime numbers that are also odd so 3, 5, 7. If we calculate the intersection of evens and primes then we will get back only the even prime numbers. So in this case only the two. Now we can also calculate the difference of two sets. So let's create two different sets again. Set A with numbers from 1 to 9 and set B with 1, with 1 2, 3, 10, 11, 12. Now the difference um, will return a set with all elements from the first set that are not in the second set. So let's call, di call it diff equals set a dot difference set b and print this. Then we will see that we will get back the numbers from 4 to 9 because it, it takes the elements from our first set but not the ones that are also in the second set so only from 4 to 9. So if we do it the other way around set B dot difference set A then it will take 10, 11, 12 but not these three numbers because they are also here. So then there's a second different method, uh, second difference method. That's called the symmetric difference method. So the symmetric different method will return a set with all the elements from set A and set B, but not the elements that are in both sets. So again, so it takes four, five, six, seven, eight, nine from set A and 10, 11, 12 from set B, but not um, 1, 2 and 3 because they are in both sets. So if I use set A, symmetric difference set B, then this is the same thing. Now uh, union and intersection and the difference method that I just showed you, they will not modify the original sets. They always will return a, a new set but we can also uh, modify our sets in place so for example we can say set a dot um, update set b and now print our set a then we will see that um, this updates the set by adding the elements that are found in another set. So without duplication again, so it does not add 1, 2 and 3 again, but it adds 10, 11 and 12. There's also a intersection up, uh, update method. So set A dot intersection update set B and what this does, it uh, updates the set by keeping only the elements found in both sets. So only one, two and three are found in both sets. So only these numbers remain in our set. Then there's also the difference update method. So set A difference update set B and if we print this 
and we will see the numbers from 4 to 9 because difference update it updates the set by removing elements found in another set so it also it found it finds 1 2 and 3 in the set B so it removes these numbers from our set A um, and then there's the symmetric difference update so um, this updates the set by only keeping the elements found in set A and in set B but not um, the elements that are found in both. So 1, 2 and 3 are found in both sets so these are not taken but then it takes all the remaining elements from both sets. Yeah you have probably have to play around with them yourselves a little bit to make it clearer and yeah let's also talk about subset, superset and disjoint methods so for example let's make them a little bit smaller um, you can calculate the if set a is a subset of set b and if we print this then this will return false because subset means um, that all the elements of our first set are also in our second set. So if we use it the other way around, set B is a subset of set A, then this will return true because 1, 2 and 3 are also in the second set. And the opposite is called the superset method. So is superset and in this case it returns false because um, a superset returns true if the first set contains all the numbers or all the elements from the second set. So set B does not contain 5, 4, 6 so it's not a superset but set A is a superset of set B because it contains 1, 2 and 3. And we can calculate if two sets are disjoint. So um, disjoint returns true if both sets have a null intersection. So no same elements. So set A is disjoint set B and if we print this this will return false because they have same elements and if we create for example a set C and put 7 8 in here and check set A is disjoint with set B then this will give us true now let's briefly talk about copying two sets if you have watched the previous episodes about lists for example then you already know this um, you have to be careful when you want to copy two sets and only do this with a simple assignment so let's say let set b equals to set one set a uh, first of all if we print this then we see that we have a copy but now if we modify the copy let's say set b add uh, 7 and if we print the copy and also print the original one then we see that also the original one um, changed because with this simple assignment um, both point to the same set so be careful here you only copy the reference now if you want to make an actual copy you have to use the dot copy method so if you run this again then we see that the original set didn't change or you can um, also use the set method and use the first set as a argument 
this will also make an actual copy. Now as a last thing um, I want to show you the frozen set. The frozen set is also a collection data type and this is just an immutable version of a normal set. So you create this with um, the frozen set method and as an argument you can also put an iterable here for example a list and let's print this then we see our frozen set here so with a frozen set you cannot change it after its creation so if I try to do a dot add to this will give us an error or I can also say try a remove one this will also give us an error or any of the updates update methods I showed you they also don't work but um, for example union intersection and difference method they will work so yeah that's it about sets and frozen sets and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial where we talk about strings in Python